Hi babies, welcome back to Monday's episode where we are going to be talking about sexing. This is just the future of dirty talk. Obviously the future of foreplay before the actual foreplay. Now I wanna know if you've ever been caught in a situation, whether it's like a text message or you're on a dating app or maybe a social media platform where somebody kind of slides in giving you that opportunity for a sexy conversation to occur. You receive that message and then you're like, oh my God, I don't know how to respond here so I'm just gonna send the taco emoji the squirt emoji and then maybe the eggplant and then that leaves the person on the receiving side with nothing to play with or maybe you just go into straight-up panic mode and you exit out and you don't even answer those messages well after this video you aren't gonna run into those issues anymore because I'm gonna teach you from start to finish on how to amplify your sexting techniques and strategies even if you are a seasoned sexter that is what we will call you this video can still be for you. First, uh, let's get started with our number one thing, and it is consent. You have to have your foundation built, meaning you can't just go off of nothing. You have to establish conversation and establish that both of you are on the exact same page, that you see each other more intimately, more sexually. You desire them. I also want to add in the unsolicited part to the messaging. This means you don't just hop into somebody's DMs and say, I want to eat you out till you're dripping all the way down my face and I want to see my fat in your mouth. No, because there are men out there that do this. I'm sure there's women, but I'm not on that receiving side. Women tend to slide into my DMs a much more softer, but men tend to be a lot more aggressive. And my train of thought is, ew, like I would even want that. You just sounded like very forceful. And I did not say that I wanted anything to do with any of that messaging or even see your unsolicited picture. Yeah, no, not for me, and it's actually not for a lot of people. I can say almost 9.5 times out of 10 that, honey, that ain't going to work. So make sure you have some form of consent that is coming through, even setting some ground boundaries, like, hey, if I send you pictures, do you promise to delete them? Or are you okay with messaging through a more secure app, like Telegram, WhatsApp, Signal, things like that to keep your messages really private? Hell, I know lots of people use Snapchat because of the delete function, but honey, honey, nothing is ever permanently deleted. Things can be stored away in a keepsake. So whoever you are sending these messages or pictures to, make sure you trust them, okay? Because we don't want anything coming back to bite you in the ass. All right, now that we got that out of the way, we can dive into a little bit more of the fun part. The stuff that you're wanting to prime your partner with, building that sexual tension in that energy so that they can't wait until they see you next. You want them to be stimulated so much that they wish they could teleport to you. So first things first, you're gonna share a fantasy, but not a fantasy that you just have for yourself, a fantasy that includes them. So one of the best tips that I can give to you guys is actually past and future. So what I mean by that is is pulling things from the past that you have already done together and recreating them on text message, running through that, triggering those sensations in their body so that they remember what that looked like, what that felt like, and giving them that full body shock. Because you wanna pick something that you know turned both of you on. That means things that you want to do to them, things that you envision happening in the bedroom that you haven't done yet or you haven't explored. So the beauty of this one is that you get to create your vision, what you want want to do to them and how you want to see them. I can't wait to see you on top of me and I can't wait to feel my hands wrap around your hips. I've been thinking about you all day and I can't stop thinking about your heart in my mouth or I can't stop thinking about the way that you taste. Boom, something just like that. Hasn't happened yet, but I'm gonna make it happen. Something that is gonna make them feel wanted. And usually we like to be told that we're wanted. The next step is to create that anticipation. So everybody texts with the three dots dot, dot, dot. So what you can do is you can actually break down what you are going to say and build that anticipation. So I can't wait till I get home, dot, dot, dot. Think about how it's going to feel when I first enter you, dot, dot, dot. Those juices, dot, dot, dot. You get the idea. Sending those messages separately is building that anticipation and that is exactly what gets them nice and horned up. 
Now the next thing I wanna to touch base on is how their message is hitting you. You wanna make sure that you're telling them that what they're saying is turning you the F on. Because sexting is, at the end of the day, part of a performance. So something as simple as just saying, you are so unbelievably hot. The way you talk to me turns me on so much. If only I was with you right now. Things like this telling them what they are doing is working and it's for you and it's making you hard or wet. The next one I want to cover is nudes. Now nudes isn't for everybody. So if you feel uncomfortable with sending them or receiving them, make sure you add that into your consent and make sure that you tell them that that's not your thing. Tell them that you'll describe your body instead or choose to go the way of you can see it when you get home or when I come see you, then you can undress me and see. Things to get around sending the nudes. However, However, if you are into sending nudes, then you should be doing something like this. We really want them to be begging for more. So you never want to be sending a full frontal. You want to be sending pieces and sections of your body. So something like your hand traveling down your body, your underwear in your hand, grabbing onto your boxers, slowly building in that almost like green playful zone. Keep in mind when they're sending you these pictures or you're sending them, you're also giving them words of affirmation. Like you look so sexy. Oh my God, you look hot, hot, hot fire emojis, drooling faces, all of that good, good. Now, for me personally, I'm not one to ever be sending anything in full, especially I never send any pictures of my vulva or anything like that. I like the more subtle back shots, breast grab, the hold, stuff that you're keeping it classy and you're not showing too much because usually I want them nice and thirsty so that they are begging me for more. That way I kind of put the ball back in my court. Now the last one I want to add in is talking about the use of a specific lube or a toy. Maybe you go out and you buy something new that day or maybe you have something that you haven't tried with that partner yet and you want to experiment. Like, hey, I just got this new toy and I would love to let you use it on me. Or hey, I got this new toy, do you wanna watch me play with myself? Things like that. Or for instance, maybe you pick up a flavor-based lube. Oh, I would love to eat this off of you. I would love to lick every inch of your body, getting that vanilla caramel flavor all in my mouth. Just thinking about rubbing my tongue up and down your body is just driving me wild. Here you can also add in a little subtle picture of what you might have purchased or what you wanna try on them. All right, baby, so I hope you left this video with some new ideas and new tips and techniques to put in the back of your pocket for sexting because let's be serious everybody needs to be able to sex and dirty talk so this is a really good way to step out of maybe your comfort zone and try singing some of these things out loud reading these sex messages to yourself before you send them out or reading the ones you receive out loud and feeling how those words land in your body which ones turn you on which ones make your partner arouse what are the messages that you get the best responses from so that you can understand your person just a little bit more. So I encourage you to press send and try some of these tips out tonight. And I will see you babies on Thursday's episode. Cheers.